Queen back with another video. 10 iconic opening lines that hype up the fans. So that's what I'm reacting to, reacting to okay? I'm reacting to, once again, I'm going to read it one more time. Um, I'm reacting to 10 iconic opening lines that hype up the fans. But that being said, like, comment, subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell. I'm also posting on my YouTube shorts, so check out my YouTube shorts. On the road to 10K, y'all. And I'm just going to start posting, like, every other day. Like, but I'm going to post a lot, but I feel like I need to give my videos time for y'all to watch them. So, like, I might skip a day of posting, but every other day I'm going to post. But that being said, let's get into this video. Let's go. Phrases help enhance the wrestler's character in promos. And you can't be done. Starting promos with the catchphrase allows fans to become invested right from the opening line. Welcome to... I love the crowd might choose lines, to girl. recite the lines with the rest of us. Who wants to walk with the lions? Or simply just cheer or boo. Kansas City, what do you want to talk about? The phrase can be long or short, but the main thing is that it gets the fans to react. Arrivala, rasta! Today, we'll look at which catchphrases work best as opening lines. Oh, Alright, let's see. as we highlight 10 iconic intros to promos. Acknowledge me! We start with one of the most recognizable lines in wrestling history. Finally, the, Rock has come back. the Rock showed us how impactful catchphrases could be, and he made sure to start his promos with one of his absolute best. Fans eagerly waited for the great one to announce he had come back to their city. There was build-up, suspense, and then finally a nod to where the fans lived, so that they could all recite in unison. Finally! All right, y'all. Let me pay attention now. I was, I got a notification on my phone, so I'm sorry. But I'm paying attention. All right, let's do it. Are we focused on the rock? I mean, I love it though. I do love that line you said. The rock has come back. Who gives a crap? <laughs> and we all know how much the people love to hear their city being mentioned. Yay! Hooray! Yay! That's where we live! Yay! Shut up! Val Venus wowed fans during the Attitude Era, especially the female members of the audience. Val would acknowledge them once he got on the mic with the famous Hello Ladies catchphrase. Hello Ladies! <laughs> After he said this, the camera would then pan to women in the crowd. Hello Ladies! It is pro probably how he's saying it. Hello, ladies. Okay, I did that. <laughs> oh, come on. Hello, I ain't do that good. Ladies. Are there any ladies in New York City? The Big Valboski's promos mostly consisted of puns and innuendos that certainly wouldn't fly today. Cause I got more meat than your buns can handle. Puff, rock, and radon mode. <laughs> In fact, his persona was even too risque during the Attitude Era. As the WWF were forced to strip back his character by having him wear a shirt and tie as part of the right to censor. He later returned as the adult film star but was significantly toned down. The Hello Ladies catchphrase was one thing that didn't get the chop though. Hello, Hello, ladies. Ladies. Oh. Hello ladies. Scott Hall made it cool to be the Scott bad Hall. guy. First in the WWF as Razor Ramon, and then under his real name in WCW. Hall had a unique swagger and effortless charisma. Scott did numerous different things that stood out, and one of them was simply saying, Hey yo, hey, hey yo. yo, I love that. Hey yo, 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 hey yo. And it's the way he's saying it too. Hey yo. Hey yo. Oh, it's hot hey, dog, yo. and I can't see. Okay. Hey yo. Uh, Crowd signs are often a good way to tell if something is over, and it was common to see hey yo signs in the audience. 
Scott's promo kept a similar but effective formula. From the hey yo to the survey, the fans were always on board. Shortly after winning his first title in WWE, John Cena frequently opened his promos by telling us, The champ is here. The champ is here! That used to be my favorite as a kid. Like one of my favorite. The, the champ becoming is a here. staple of John's promos John anytime John Cena he held the title, like, which was time. quite often given how decorated of a career. Well, I still love him the now, but back then he was acting, so he was like. The champ is her. The champ. The champ is here catchphrase also spawns some of Cena's most memorable t-shirts. The champ the is here! helped John feel like the biggest star in the company. No matter what do, do, belt he do. held, sure there were other wrestlers with do, titles, do, do, but Cena do. felt like the true champ. The champ is here! From the moment the New Age Outlaws music hit, Rodog was on the mic running his mouth. Their entrance was unique since oh, Rodog would cut a promo before he even got into the ring by introducing himself <laughs> and Billy Gunn individually. Once the music stopped, the Outlaws welcomed everyone to the doghouse. Before beginning their traditional promo routine, fans would recite each word with Road Dog in what was one of the best examples of crowd participation in wrestling. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Ooh, that was nice too. I liked it there. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, Deep Generation X proudly brings to you its WWF Champion of the World. Yeah, they loved it there. If I was a wrestler, I could do something like that too, but. I don't know if there are a lot of women to do that, but I could do that. The crowd did it up for Eddie Guerrero during the height of his popularity Eddie. on SmackDown. Especially well, when he began his promos too. in vintage Eddie fashion. Viva All la was Rasta. typically accompanied by the name of the city Eddie was in at the time. Orale, Kansas City! Oh. Orale, Indianapolis! Orale, Houston! He was going in too, Eddie. Man, I miss Latino Eddie. Latino Heat would also shout me Rasa anytime he was close to home. Orale, mi Rasa! Orale, Imagine mi Rasa! my biggest what ifs. What if uh he was, you know, he was still alive today and him and Rey Mysterio got to be a tag team. Uh, I don't know how old Eddie would be if he was alive, like he was still alive, but like, I'm not saying like now, but like in years before, what if him, well, him and Ray did be a tag team, but I'm talking about like now, like in this generation now, like how WWE is right now. I can say right now. Eddie had a charm that drew fans in, from driving to the ring in a lowrider to greeting the audience Eddie, when he got bro. on the, the mic to lying, cheating, and God stealing it. his way to victory. The people were with Eddie every step of the way. Paul Heyman's second run in WWE began with what would end up becoming an iconic catchphrase that fans loved to repeat. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul. Yeah, I love that one. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Heyman. Yeah, I love that.
make fun of you, and then what do you do? You say my name along with me. My name is Paul Heyman. My name is Paul Heyman. This run cemented Heyman as one of the greatest talkers in wrestling history. And I am the advocate for the reigning, defending, undisputed WWE Heavyweight Champion of the World, Barack Yo, his Whether definitely he's Paul Heyman. Manager, an My agent, name an is advocate, Paul Heyman. Special counsel. Once you hear the opening line of his promo, you know his name is Paul Heyman. My name is, is Paul Heyman. Heyman. My name. I mean, you don't really have to be an OG OG fan to know who Paul Heyman is, but you know when he say, if you've been watching it for like at least ten years, you probably be like, no. My name, you will know what he's saying. Paul Lance Storm was the definition of a wrestler yeah. who did their talking in the ring. Between the ropes, he was one of the best, but on the mic, he wasn't known to have much charisma, but this was played to his advantage, as having such little personality became a trait of his character. And like most characters in wrestling, it was the real-life person with the volume turned up. The, if I could be serious for a minute, catchphrase worked tremendously. If I can be serious for a minute, great call. Gonna if, be I, good. if I can be serious for a minute, see what I mean? If I can be serious for a minute, it summed up who Lance Storm was, a straight-laced, in-ring technician. Forget sports entertainment, when Storm said this line, it meant the time for talking was up. It was now all about the wrestling. If I can be serious for a minute, without being interrupted, well, it's a good heel, if I can be uh, serious for a minute, line, you know what I'm saying? Enzo Amore and Big Cass blossomed into a fine tag team that are best remembered for their promos, especially their opening monologue, where like the New Age Outlaws, the fans would recite Amore's entire intro. My name is Enzo Amore, and I am a certified G and a bona fide son. King, dead. And Me this right that. here, this Me is Big Cass, that. and he's seven foot tall, and you can't beat that. How you doing? <laughs> Privacy and security. I remember he had a storyline with Nia Jax. Because that. communication is something in Y'all don't mind private. that train. That train trying to mess up my Enzo vid, but we still gonna Carmella keep going. This time in NXT had the audience right from the jump. This is Carmella, and she's hot as hell, and you can't beat that. Then Carmelo used to date to the Big point Cass. where their in-ring work was pretty much secondary. It was all about the epic pre-match promo. Enzo and Cass made the fans part of the show, as the crowd couldn't wait to repeat their every word. My name is Enzo Amore, and I am a certified G and a bona fide star. His outfits was going hard too, though. I ain't gonna lie. Enzo, his outfit was fire. Like how they look in the colorways. Roman Reigns heel run the as the leader of the bloodline can be summed up by two words. Acknowledge me. Yes, I will. <laughs> Let me take off the hat for that. Mm -hmm. I will, sir. Pittsburgh. <laughs> Acknowledge I already me. do. Why you keep saying this? Milwaukee. I do acknowledge you, but I got to put my hat back on. Acknowledge me. Montreal! I acknowledge you, Roman. Acknowledge me. And the way he said it, like, we were deep and mad. I like that. Acknowledge me. WrestleMania! Acknowledge me. Roman demanded he everyone a red acknowledge him at WrestleMania? the tribal chief Looking and head good. of the table. And it was hard not to, Looking given his good. utter dominance where he reigned over the WWE for several years. Acknowledge me! And there's one thing left to do. I do. Minneapolis. We all do. But not all of them. A lot of people hate you! Those who didn't fall in line and acknowledge Roman would be banished from the island of relevancy that Reigns and the bloodline sat atop of. Now the whole world can acknowledge me. The rest of the bloodline also had a recurring intro for their promos in which they too would mention the name of the city they were in. Grand Rapids! 
This man is funny as hell, Jimmy. Cincinnati, Ohio. The bloodline is now in your city. For just like the fans and rival wrestlers, even the bloodline must acknowledge the tribal chief. You there. Sitting at home. Acknowledge. I do. If you enjoyed this but video, be sure to check out this. our other videos you on iconic such and taunts in wrestling. I do. Have a great day. Everybody don't, but time. I do. But I ain't gonna acknowledge you after you use the belt because you ain't gonna be on TV. No Switch more. to shop. Nah, I ain't gonna do you like that. I'm gonna still acknowledge you. I'm still acknowledge Roman. I like Roman. But, um, yeah, y'all, that was the end of the video. 10 iconic opening lines that hype up the fans. So, when you talk on the mic, like you say, a one-liner that hype up, hype up the fans. So, what? Well, yeah, it's not no one-liners, but it's opening lines. Like, when you first talk, whatever you say, what's up, Atlanta, Georgia? And then everybody starts screaming. That's how I go. But that being said, like, comment, subscribe. Also, hit that notification bell. I will be posting more videos, y'all. If you have any recommendations, let me know. And I appreciate that. And I might do some more videos. I don't know yet because I do have to post on TikTok as well. So, we might, like I said, um, say for example, all right, I didn't post no video. I posted, like, yesterday. So, today is Sunday. So I'm not going to post the, the day. I'm going to post Monday because I do have to edit. So Monday, I will be posting something. Tuesday, I don't know if Ivana and I will do the podcast about Seth Rollins. If we do, that video might end up being posted to Thursday or Friday because so, I got to edit. But that being said, y'all, like, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Don't forget to watch my YouTube shorts. We're going up 2024. I need to be more consistent and I'm gonna be consistent. But that being said, I'm out. Peace. Yeah, Monday, yeah, yeah. Hop up on that couch and roll a lotto out the bed. I don't need a stylist, they can't fuck with Quillerade.